Hey, welcome back to another video on this channel and Bitwig Studio just released or released yesterday and I was pretty surprised by it because I thought this beta period is going on forever but I'm pretty happy that it's out now and you can all download it and enjoy the grid uh, for yourself. I think there's also a demo version up so you can try it out if you have no running plan or you you're actually just interested in Bitwig Studio and want to try it out. So go to the, the website and download the demo version and try it out for yourself. And if you have a running plan and you just download Bitwig Studio 3.0, you can use one uh, or you can use all my presets I created for the grid. And if you go here to the settings and um, packages, essentials collection, and you can activate the Bitwig factory device presets and download all the presets for the grid and all the other devices. So just do that. And when you open up the pulley grid and, and it's empty, you can just use this button here and you instantly um, inside the presets uh, browser here and you see all the presets for the pulley grid. And if you go down here to polarity, you see all my presets for the pulley uh, grid. And for instance, if you go here for Captain Kirk, you can see uh, it's a pretty simple setup. Not so simple, but uh, not too complicated. And I have also inside here uh, MPE controls already mapped. So when you have a MPE controller like I do here with a really light block, and you can use that with some of the presets. So um, for instance, if you press a node and use the pressure or press harder, then you change the sound. I actually have to use uh, or buy a new camera setup so I can show you all the stuff on my desk when I press something. I, I just need more cameras. I think I need multiple cameras all inside my my room here to just show you everything what I do. But for now, it's just my eyesight from um, from my monitor. But uh, yeah, if you have a light block, you can use that with some of the presets I created for the grid. But you can also still use a normal standard MIDI keyboard it works perfectly fine um, yeah I also try to create a whole range of different uh, presets for the for the grid so it's not just pads it's also I created some beat stuff so you have a beat Rambo where you create with just the push of a button Rambo nice the button is called Rambonize. So you can Rambonize something. And every time you press the button, you have a different pattern for the drums and you also have different drum sounds. So just hold the key on your keyboard and it plays the pattern with the drum sound and use the buttons to randomize. If you like the drum sounds and just want to change the pattern, then you can do this with this button here, Pattern Rambo. Okay, and if you like um, just the FX sounds, uh, not so much, then you know, just use this button to randomize the effects. I 
And I really like this idea to have uh, some kind of instruments where you just push randomize and you create a new uh, preset or a new sound, something like that, just when you have or you're running out of ideas or you need a, a, a basically a studio partner and want to ask him, hey, just do some sounds for me. I have no ideas today, so um, inspire me. <laughs> I also used this idea uh, with, um, I think it's Rando Rumbo, where I use a pulley synth and the grid to randomize some of the parameters from the pulley synth. And every time you press generate, you get a new sound. As you can see, with the push of a button, you get a lot of different presets. So it's just multiple presets in one preset, if you will. So you have infinite uh, presets. Um, the only thing is that you can't persist actually the generated presets. So when you load out project again, um, all these modulated parameters here are basically gone. Uh, you start with zero. So if you want to persist the sound, you have to render it down to audio. That's the only downside at the moment. I wish there would be some option where you can just left click here on this knob and say, um, transfer me this modulated value to a real value. So this knob would basically uh, snap to the currently modulated value. and. Uh, with this, you could actually persist the uh, sound and also create a lot of different uh, presets. Um, but for now, you have to render it down to audio. That's the only downside. But nonetheless, it's it's fun to play just to hit generate and get a different sound every time. Okay, that's that. So a lot of new presets for myself for Bitwig inside you can download with the packages here. And yeah, have fun with it and hit me up with some critique and um, new ideas you have or what you want to have corrected or when you have found some bugs, I will correct it in the future and yeah, will inform you with in the form of a video. And yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for trying out my presets and have fun with the new Bitwig 3.0 release and I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye.